President Bola Tinibu receives fresh directives on Kabas controlling petroleum industry as Nigerian lament bitterly. This is a very serious matter. So Kabas are still responsible for crude oil sales in Nigeria. So guys, let's quickly hear the details of the report. A civil society group, the Osu Mastermind, has urged President Bola Ahmed Tinibu to take immediate action against this powerful cabas controlling the petroleum industry in Nigeria. The group expressed concern over the instability in the industry, citing arbitrary pricing and artificial scarcity of the Nigerian fuel product. They faulted the federal government's slow implementation of palliative measures after removing fuel subsidy. The group's executives, director, Professor Wasio Oyedeku Ali, emphasized the need for the government to end arbitrary price fixing and remove middlemen who raise costs for personal gain. He called on President Bola Tinibu to launch efforts to rein in the petroleum industry, Kaba, and ensure ministers are active in their responsibilities. The group also called on the Osun state government to develop a comprehensive policy framework for agriculture and disclose the cost of procured tractors, emphasizing transparency and accountability. They demanded concise action from the president of to address the hardship faced by citizens and urge the government to listen to Nigerians. The powerful message from the Oshun Masterminds group has sparked a call to action against the powerful Kabas controlling the petroleum industry in Nigeria. The group Urgents appeal to President Bola Tinibu to address arbitrary pricing and artificial scarcity has highlighted the need for swift government intervention. The message has also emphasized the importance of transparency and accountability in governance, particularly in the agricultural sector. By demanding action from the president and Osho state government, the group also has galvanized public attention on the pressing issues affecting Nigerian citizens. The message has created a sense of urgency, prompting stakeholders to take notice and work towards finding solutions to the challenges facing the petroleum and agricultural industries in Nigeria. Ultimately, the message has underscored the need for effective governance and responsible leadership to address the plight of ordinary Nigerians. In another development, Nigerians living in 
border communities between Nigeria and Benin Republic in Ogun State are lamenting the skyrocketing price of fuel, which has reached 2,000 naira per liter in some areas. The scarcity and high cost of petroleum have been attributed to the limited number of licensed fueling stations in the area and the oil industry cabas, with only four stations authorized by the Nigerian government to sell petrol. The situation has had a devastating impact on the community with hospitals, small and medium enterprise, and farmers forced out of operation due to the scarcity and high cost of fuel in Nigeria. These inhuman hearts had forced most of hospitals, small and medium enterprise, and farmers out of operation, and few left with no other option have to resort to buying the petrol product from black marketers and others at an unreasonable price regaining from 1,500 to 2,000 naira per liter. Recall, the federal government's ban on supply of petroleum product to petrol stations within 20 kilometers of the country border in, in 2019 has been blamed for the scarcity and high cost of fuel in the area. Although the government later granted waiver to some filling stations, the number of authorized stations is still insufficient to meet the demands of the population. And so residents are calling on the government to address the issue and provide relief to the affected communities. The situation has led to increased hardship and frustration among residents who are struggling to assess fuel for their daily needs. So guys, how do you see to this matter? Kindly feel free to share your opinion on the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Bliss Channel. Thank you.